I love books. <laughs> books are among my favorite things. David Lawfer surrounds himself with books. And they make kind of a nice uh, environment. He waxes poetic about them. The turning of the pages is like the passing of days, you know. He put his love of them into action. This is sort of a celebration of the exuberance of the book shape. So Carving kind of books pun. from wood. If a book gets old enough and used enough and the pages start to curl. He designs books. Trim it. And yes, writes them. I'm working on a book that's titled Very Graphic. It'll be coming out in December. Lawfer's book-centric existence extends beyond his Druid Hills home because right outside his door, a little movement is having a big impact. Do whatever comes along system. The children's books are sort of to the left and the gardening books are sort of to the right. What looks like a giant birdhouse is actually something quite old fashioned, though you may not recognize it. It's a library, a little free library. And I said, what's that? You described it. You got about two sentences into it, and I thought, well, gee, I want one of those. Lawfer heard about two fellas up north starting little free libraries, which work as the name suggests. You take books, you bring books. Because I, I looked at the map, and there were none in the southeast, you know, and I thought, gee, I know all these witty and literate and bookish people that are here, and we don't, you know, we ought to have at least one here. So he built his library, he put in books, and he waited. People didn't know quite what to make of it. That phase didn't last very long. Let's see what we've got today. Fabulous fashion. Black Stanley. Edible plants from the prairie gardens. Let me tell them. <laughs> I come here for something. It's a little unusual. Uh, it's very eclectic. You're getting way too many. You got to take what you can read. Tina. Fiction. Something fiction. An amazing thing began to happen. I think the Tina. unexpected Tina. joy of it is that it starts out being about the books, but it's really about your local community. Morning. Neighbors met. We get to see each other and meet each other and talk about books and talk about the neighborhood. Got to know each other. It's such a neat, great way for our community to kind of come together and share with one another in our busy lives. B is for books. And they left this little library with an unexpected yeah, find. We got a special on books. They're going cheap. Cholesterol cure. Cholesterol. You How got wonderful. It. Thank you. There are now more than 800 little free libraries in 28 states and six countries, a dozen in Georgia. In a world where screens fill our lives and we are supposedly more connected than ever, is for there is still room for things that can be touched, felt, then shared, traveling hand to hand. There's nothing little about that. Is this the one you want to keep? Yes. I like that one. In Druid Hills. Jay Watson. Yeah, I, I like, you know, I like, as we take, we like to get. That's new. 11 Alive News. You never know quite what you'll find, and that's the fun of it.